Welcome to Apostolic Archive. We have gathered many wonderful sermons through the years and we have decided to share them with the world. We hope you enjoy. Please subscribe to our channel. Please like the video and comment with something you take away from this message. Also, hit the bell below so you can receive an update as soon as we upload new content. Blessings. Amen, amen. Let's clap our hands one more time. Let's praise him. Hallelujah. Come on, while we're clapping our hands, let's lift our voices and let's begin to magnify the name of Jesus. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor Booker. What an honor and a privilege to be in God's house today. And I was, I was thinking while we was worshiping the Lord, you know, it doesn't matter if we're in Brazil or Rialto, California. The, the Lord is just the same. His presence is just the same. Amen. And I'm glad that I can feel the same Holy Ghost that I feel in Brazil. I felt when I walked in this building today. Hallelujah. Woo, hallelujah. Aren't you glad for the Holy Ghost? Amen. Amen. You can be seated in Jesus' name. I want to say that it is an honor to be here today with Pastor and Sister Booker and the Booker family and this church family. And uh, good to see what God is doing here. I was uh, also, I'm glad to have my wife. This is the first time that my wife is here. And I was telling my wife that I uh, remember coming here since I was single. The first time I preached, it was at the old church and uh, many years ago. And, and I was telling her what God has done for, for this church and what God has, how God has blessed uh, and sent a mighty revival to this place. And, and I'm excited that she's with me this trip. And, and I've been taking her around a little bit here in California. And yesterday I got to take her to In-N-Out. She had never tasted In-N-Out hamburger. She loved it. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So it's so good to be here today. Good to feel the Holy Ghost. Good to know who Jesus is today. Oh, hallelujah. How many is glad that you know who Jesus is tonight, today? Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I bring greetings from the country of Brazil. God is moving in a mighty way in our country. We are having a great revival, an awesome revival, a revival that I have never seen in my whole entire life. We've been baptizing entire uh, Trinitarian G uh, churches in Jesus' name, and hallelujah, baptizing all kinds of Trinity people in Jesus' name, and devil worshipers, idol God worshipers, and have been baptizing them in Jesus' name, receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen, amen. There is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. I'm glad that I know who Jesus is today. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost in this place. God is going to move in a mighty way in this place today. If you believe, lift up your voice and magnify his name as loud as you can praise him. While you're standing, I would like to talk a little bit about missions, but I, I feel like reading a very known scripture today in the book of Mark, chapter 16. Amen. While I was praying uh, this morning and uh, feel a confirmation from the Lord, when I walked in this place today, the Holy Ghost spoke to me that there's going to be miracles in this service today. So if you need a miracle, 
God is going to give you a miracle today. Woo, I feel the Holy Ghost. Woo, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. Mark chapter 16 and verse number 15. And while you're opening your Bibles, hallelujah. In fact, I just feel in the Holy Ghost to do this. If you need a miracle, if you just want to sit on the front uh, rows that is empty, find you a, a place right here. Hallelujah. As close as you can to the fireplace, to the altar, because God is going to give miracles here today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you need salvation, run and find you an empty uh, seat. If you need salvation for a lost loved one, for a child, for a husband, for a son, for a daughter, if you need the Holy Ghost to move for deliverance, alcohol, cigarette, drugs, all kinds of uh, hallelujah drugs in, in your life, in your family, and you need God to work a miracle. You need to find that. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Just find you a closer place to the altar. Miracles are going to happen in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth, how I many is a believer here today? And is baptized. If you're not if you're not baptized in Jesus name we can baptize you today before the service is over and it's and it's baptized shall be saved but he that believeth not shall be damned and verse number 17 says and these signs everybody say these signs shall follow them that believe I mean as a believer wave your hand to the Lord in my name what is the name church Jesus they shall cast out devils and they shall speak with new tongues and they shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them and they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover put your hands up in the air and lift up your voice and begin to praise the name of Jesus as loud as you can praise him you tonight today God I humble before your presence because we know that we can't do anything without you Lord I'm asking you to bind every spirit from hell bind every demon in the name of Jesus and loose your power loose your anointing in this service in a mighty way I know this is Sunday school God hallelujah but I I just would believe what you told me that you are going to heal people and miracles are going to take place in this building and we as your people we will not fail to praise you and we will not fail to give you glory come on shout right now to the Lord as loud as you can shout oh Jesus oh Come on, it's here. The power is here. The anointing is here. Come on, the presence of God is in the house right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, 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 in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. 
Praise God. Amen. You may be seated if you feel like it in Jesus' name. Praise God. For just a few minutes, I want to title this missionary speech or testimonies, however you feel like calling today, The Days of Miracles Are Not Over. The days of miracles are not over. How many believe that Jesus is still a miracle man? Hallelujah. Just like the old song that we used to sing, Jesus is a miracle man. I don't know about you, but I can uh, I can testify today that Jesus is a miracle man. Because a few years ago, I was diagnosed of having stomach cancer, and I was sent home to die. I vomit blood for over six months, and I lost over 65 pounds and the doctor said there was no hope for me but one night I was praying in my bedroom I was kneeling down beside my bed and I had a visitation from an angel of the Lord and the angel of God came in my room and touched me and the angel healed me and I that night I was healed through the power of the name of Jesus I go to Ramayash I have never had any stomach problem again. The doctors could not explain. Let me tell you, we serve a Jesus that is a healer. We serve a Jesus that is a miracle working God. We serve a God that there's nothing too hard for him. There's no anything too hard for my God. Oh, beat you tambourines if you have any here today because God is getting ready to heal somebody. God is getting ready to give somebody a miracle. God is getting ready to deliver. God's getting ready to fill somebody with the Holy Ghost is in the house. The presence of God is in the house today. Hallelujah. We just got to act in faith. That's what we need to do today. Faith, it's something that the devil hates. I, I teach our church in Brazil. When we have faith, you know, anything can happen. Hallelujah. We've got to have faith for miracles to take place. I was praying, Pastor Booker, uh, not very long ago. And I was asking God, I said, God, why don't we see as many miracles like we used to see years ago? And the, I'm not a preacher that God speaks to me every day. But the Holy Ghost spoke to me that day while I was praying. And, and God spoke to me, son, if you preach more about miracles, I will hear more people my yanda oh, I feel the Holy Ghost God is getting ready to heal somebody in this service today he kosha sometimes we get afraid to preach about signs and miracles because we don't want to be acquainted with a charismatic let me tell you it's not the charismatic church in town that are to be testifying miracles but it's the one God Jesus name apostolic Pentecostal church that are to be seeing miracles in our services these signs shall follow them that believe the days of miracles are not over. The days of miracles are not over today. <laughs> hallelujah. 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 My wife and a group of sisters was door knocking in a little village called Ortolandia and uh, they got to a house and invited this lady by the name of Francisca Francisca had been Catholic all of her life 50 something years she came to church that night God filled her with the baptism of the Holy Ghost we baptized her in Jesus name and every May we have what we call ladies conference in, at our church and for you to understand that all of our churches in Brazil, once they're established, we have a ladies group that by the name of Dorcas Sisters. And what they do, they come to the church and they pray for about an hour and a half to two hours once a week. And they pray for revival. And uh, so 
uh, my wife a few years ago, she asked me if they could have a conference of these uh, prayer groups. So that's what we call the ladies conference. And when they come in, different groups and from all over our state and they come and they, for a weekend, they pray for a revival. Well, uh, a couple of years ago, two, three years ago, they decided that they wanted to have a ladies choir. And uh, at the Sunday night service, because Sunday night is open for everybody. So I said, okay. And, um, and uh, so they started that and, and Sister Francisca, uh, a new convert, she came to my wife. She said, I want to uh, sing in the choir. Well, she had already been baptized in Jesus' name and got the Holy Ghost and lined up in holiness. So uh, uh, I said, okay, yeah. And um, so she began to uh, practice with the choir for the latest conference. And um, right before the latest conference, a few days before, I received a phone call from another sister in the church. And, and uh, she said, Pastor, you need to run to the hospital because Sister Francisca had a, a very, very bad stroke. She is in a, in a coma. And so I went to the hospital. We prayed for Sister Francisca. And a few days later, probably about five or six days, I can't really remember exactly the, the amount of the days, I, I got a phone call. And it was from the same lady. And the Sister Gloria told me, said, somebody wants to talk to you. And uh, then it was Sister Francisca. And uh, she said, Pastor, I just want to let you know that I'm walking out of the hospital. I said, oh. She said, but there is one problem. She said, I am blind. The, 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 the stroke affected her sight. She said, and the doctor said, I will never see again. She said, but I still want to sing in the choir. I said, okay, Sister Francisca. Well, uh, service went on. God moved in a mighty way. And uh, uh, ladies' conference Sunday night, the choir was singing. And I watched it. Sister Gloria was, you know, pushing Sister Francisca around. And uh, the Lord spoke to prophecy that night. I am going to work miracles in this service. And it's going to be visible miracles. And when the Lord said that in my mind, I thought about Sister Francisca. And I began to praise him and I begin to worship him in advance for what he was going to do as the choir went back to their seat to sit back down I noticed in the middle uh, aisle of the uh, main uh, wing of our church uh, and way in the back I noticed when sister Francisca jumped in the air and she had a piece of paper in her hand and she came down running the aisles of the church uh, waving that piece of paper and she stopped right in front of the everybody and turn around and begin to read the paper and she said I can see I can see I can see hallelujah hallelujah this is a word of a new convert she said when the choir begin to sing I begin to feel something hot beyond my head that was pouring on top of my head and it went down to my eyes well she didn't know how to explain it was the healing power it was the healing anointing and the same healing power is in this service today in Rialto, California Inland Church today, Lighthouse Church I'm here to tell you that the same God that is moving in Brazil is the same God of this service today the same power, the same anointing is in the house today Oh, lift up your voice and cry out to him as loud as you can praise him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We need to praise him a little bit louder. We need to praise him a little bit louder. We need to praise him a little bit louder. They get loud at the football games. They get loud at the stadiums. They make noise to Hollywood. Why can't we get loud on a Sunday morning? I need six more brothers to run the aisles with that brother right there. I teach our church there is power and unity. He called up a shataya bahataya. Come on, God is healing people.
people. Miracles are taking place right now. God is sending angels from heaven, uh, breaking chains and breaking shackles. Oh, go ahead right now. Shout for your miracle. Shout for your victory. Shout for your healing. It's here in the house. The days of miracle are not over. Oh, why don't you get a, grab a worshiper by the hand and shout with them right now? Why don't you grab somebody by the hand and say, honey, this is how we receive a miracle. Begin to stomp the devil's head. It's here. The anointing is here. The power is here in the house today. Go ahead. Go ahead. We're old time apostolic Pentecostals. Come on. Don't be embarrassed to get in the aisles. He come on, Shataya. Tell somebody, excuse me. I've got to make some room because I'm going to worship in advance. I'm going to shout in advance. I'm going to dance in advance because the days of miracle are not over. It's here. God's going to give testimonies to people in the house today. He called a Woo, it's here. Come on. Come on, worshipers. Come on, Pentecostals. Come on, apostolics. Come on, it's here. He loved Cancer can be healed. Tumor can disappear right now. I'm talking about sugar diabetes can leave your blood. Arthritis can leave your bones. The power of God is in the house today. Holy Ghost is here. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, God wants to fill you with the Holy Ghost today. Come on, I could go on and on, but the Holy Ghost wants to take control. So why don't you just lift up your hand? Why don't you get out of your pew if you if you can? Get out of your chair. Let's let's everybody that can, if you want the miracle, get out of your place and run to the altar right now. Run to the to the where the Holy Ghost is moving right now. He Lift up your hands. Everybody find somebody that you can pray with if I can get the ministers please to start laying hands as God is healing people as God is giving miracles Holy Ghost is here Holy Ghost is here miracles he call up Shanda Bahaya it's here he call up Shanda Bahaya come on come on pray with somebody pray with somebody I don't know the need but God knows the need I don't know the problem but God knows the problem I don't know the sickness but God knows the sickness I don't know what you're going through but God knows I said God knows he come on Shia, sing the Holy Ghost. He come on Shanda Yamahaya. In the name of Jesus Christ of Come on. Come on. You need the Holy Ghost. Pray as loud as you can pray. You need victory. Pray. He come on. Shut up. Yalabahaya.